I had the blessing of doing what I'd always longed to do, which was to live a quality of solitude. And now, blessed to live it here. And it's, uh, you know, it's a wonderful, wonderful mystery to live this in the midst of a congenial community. Our cities, our homes, and even our campuses are inclined to be busy and crowded these days. Many things compete for our energies and our interests, our, our very selves. People feel the anxiety and the pressure of our world, and we need to be able to get away from it at times to bring it together again, to find wholeness. Hello, I'm Father Dan Riley. For a while now, we've been trying to create a place called Mount Irenaeus, bringing life together, this life and our lives from wherever we are, to bring ourselves and our homes, our campuses and our cities to the Lord and find the Lord in the midst of it all. Centered in him more and more, the peace that he wishes to offer us becomes ours. Mount Irenaeus is a place for peace and prayer. We call it a place for prayer and peaceful recreation. I began my early ministry life at St. Bonaventure University, and one of the first things I did in the, uh, on the campus in 71 was bring to the students uh, the value of a weekend retreat. And it was out of those experiences, really, that the mountain this was one of the first places that we were brought to by the owner. And I think he had a sense of um, what we were looking for as well as how special this spot could be. It's inspirational. I think there's a spirit here that, uh, that is the spirit of the land. It's, it's quiet. It's filled with uh, the peace that we're looking for when we come to Mount Irenaeus. We don't know God is speaking in so many ways in so many places. Uh, this is a place to discover that. It's not a place where it's only happening. We're celebrating the richness of all the elements today. And it seems to me God wants us to know that and uh, be stirred by that. And let us treasure the goodness of this moment as we begin prayer with each other. So I invite all of us to enjoy the peace of this beautiful day that God has given us and Sister Breeze who comes upon us now and Brother Son who has been with us. Uh, the goodness of each other's company. And I'm very grateful to uh, be um, invited by God to be a part of this great venture. Uh, what I feel is a, a special breaking into our time of God's grace that calls us to be away, to be still, uh, to know God. If all of a sudden the structures just became pretty places for people to go, it wouldn't be why it was put in place in the first place. So I think we, I think our future, there's a sobriety in it, which is really quite wonderful because it lets us know that that's right. Today, anyway, we're here. And, and what do we rely on? Well, you know, the beams are great. And they're going to hang out for quite a while. But you walk into that chapel, you're not just relying on the beams. You're relying on everybody in the chapel or the quiet in the chapel or primarily the God who's present to us there. I'm blessed that they encouraged me to live here. You know, this isn't retirement. It's a new way of living for me. Or it's an old way. It's why I came here. Hello, my friends. I'm here on the mountain uh, with my brothers, and, and also you'll see them, I think. <laughs> Hello, my friend, and good morning. Hello, my friend. Hello, my friends. It's wonderful to be able to take a few moments with you today here at uh, the pond at Mount Irenaeus. Hello, my friends. It's wonderful to greet you on this beautiful autumn day here on Mount Irenaeus. I would hope that the mountain would be here to serve people long time but it's the big word is serve and serve by the way it's lived this life is lived I mean this is this is really is a one-of-a-kind sort of little place